Yo, what's up? How you doing? Uh, face it foremost before I get started. Uh, my name is uh, Hamish, but a lot of people sometimes they call me uh, 25 but titty. A lot of people like to call me 25 but titty. So before we get started, uh, you're new to my channel, there's a uh, subscribe button over there. You know, down under here, just click and like, you know, right there. So every time I want to put a new video, you're going to get an update out of America. A lot of things, you know, <clears throat> um, you know, there's a link down here. You can watch our music, you know what I'm saying? Just in case if you don't know, you know, I do music. You can follow me on Instagram. So without wasting no time, but don't start to watch music before, you know, uh, get down with this, okay? So let's get started, man. Let's not waste any time. Let's get started. So the question say, uh, the side shows that the demand, uh, demand, so demand meaning, let's say I decided to, like me, I created these products, you know what I'm saying? I go and collect some women from various township here in South Africa, Cape Town, and I have them to trade so that I can have the family, you know, because a lot of people from uh, various townships, you know, especially women and kids, they don't have a market, so I have them to trade. So if you need one of these, you can let me know. So this, this I decided to sell these products here, you know what I'm saying? For tw uh, 200 rand for this month, or 300. And the demand means how many people gonna buy? Maybe it's a lot of people. I mean the demand get higher. And then I decided uh, next week, I may, oh, let me increase now. I'm gonna sell for 300 and 50 rand, okay? And they say the demand get low. So the demand is like the sales, okay? That's why here they say a number of units sold, like how many units gonna be sold. So the study shows that the demand or number of units sold for new products, for our new products, you know what I'm saying? This is another one. For new products, okay, uh, for new products is this. So this is a demand. It means the units that they're going to sell is 1100 per week when the price is at 350 So we got two things here, okay? Demand and price because they go like the uh, twin. You know what I'm saying? It means if your price is higher, maybe less people going to buy or more people going to buy. If your price is low, maybe more uh, more people can buy. So price and demand means unit of product that you create or you sell. They go like they marry to each other. Okay. So now they say, uh, and eight fifty units means the demand of eight fifty units per week when the price is four hundred. So we see when the price increase went to four hundred, it get lesser. You know, it go lesser to eight fifty. But when the price of 350 means it was 350 instead of 400. It was a lot of people, a lot of units which were sold. Okay, so now we're going to create a table here. This is a base way and easy way to do this. You know, I'm going to create a small table. But they should not give us this because they make it easy. You know, but they just give it, it's helping you. They say X represent the price of a product. Also, X is going to represent price. Okay, and then... Uh, X and Y, it represents what demand per week. So now we're going to create a small table here. Okay, let's create a table here. Price and, and demand. Okay. So this is price. Okay, which one is X? X represents the price. So say price stands for X and demand Y. You know what I'm saying? I always start with the X and Y. Just like X, Y coordinate. Okay, Mathematica. So now, uh, they say uh, 100, 1100 units per week. So this is demand. They demand 100 units per week. Okay, so demand is 100 units, 1100 units. But for how much? When this half was sold for 350. So when it was sold for 350 more units were sold. You know what I'm saying? So now we go also, uh, how did I say? We got some more here, but now, we see the unit get lower a little bit. It got to 850. When the price was, uh, when the price was 400. The price was 400. Oh, okay. And then assume that the relationship between the price and demand means price and demand, they are linear. Is linear means is linear. They depend on one another. I'm gonna explain to you what that means, linear. Linear equation mathematical financial mathematics, and that the relationship between the price and the demand is linear, that the demand is dependent to the price. Means people buying this, more people or less people, it depends on the price. If the price is higher, 
we sold, less people buy. The price is low, more people buy. You know what I'm saying? So demand means how many how many units you're gonna sell or how many products you're gonna sell, depending on the price. That's how they say. It. So now they say the linear equation you could use to predict the demand of the uh, prices. They say which equation we're gonna use to predict. So now we're gonna use this, okay, to get that linear equation. So the nature of a linear equation mathematica is always like this. You see, uh, let me start from here. You see y equal to m x plus c so this is a linear equation mathematica like the nature of the equation we have a quadratic we have a function we have hyperbola it's a lot of them but for now let's take to this so first and foremost this you call a slope so you have to find the slope first okay so now you see these two units i'm going to write them as a coordinate so the first coordinate, you know mathematically you must write x and then y whenever you write coordinates. So our first coordinate here always start with the x. X is 350. And then when 350, y is 110. 1100. Now we come here 400 for another x, second x in another coordinate. Oh, 400, apologies. And then you come here is 850 for this one. 850. You know what I'm saying? So we have a two coordinate. So if you want to get M always, you say, oh, M is a slope. Or sometimes we call it gradient, just in case if you're on a slope or gradient. So how we get it, man? So this you always say changing Y over changing X. So what does that mean? It means these are Y. So take this minus this, or either way. But I always like to take the top minus the bottom. But if you, can, if you start from the bottom, everything must start from the bottom. So let me start from the top. So, okay. So changing Y means take this Y here. So this is y, remember? Minus or minus or this y, which is 8 feet. So these are y's. And then over, since I started from the top, even here I must start from the top. Means changing x, I must start from the top. So if you want to start from the bottom, everything must start from the bottom. So let's start from the top, and it's okay, 350x in this minus the one at the bottom. Perfect. So now we're gonna say, okay, let's just calculate okay. <coughs> 110. Minus 850. Okay, 0 minus 0 0, and then 0 minus 5. No, we bought one here. It's going to be 10. This is going to be 0. Uh, 10 minus 5 equal to 5. Now this is 0. 10 minus 8 equal to 250. So this is 250. Positive. Now we come here at the bottom. This is going to be negative 50. 350 minus 400, negative 50. Okay, how many 15 to 50? Negative 5. This is uh, by 0, 0. How many 5 into 5 is 5, but we have a sign. He has positive, he has negative. Negative and positive give us negative. Oh, so now our gradient or slope, which we represent by this letter M, equal to negative 5. So our slope equal to negative 5. So we have this around. So since you have it, substitute right there. You know what I'm saying? So this is going to become. So how about M? So now this is going to become Y equal to. We're not going to write M anymore because we have it. Negative 5 and then X plus c. So let's call this second equation. So we got another problem here, you know what I'm saying? What is the other problem? The other problem we need to get the value of c. How are we going to get c? We're going to get c by taking, either take this or this and substituting it, position of x and y. So take any one. It's going to give you the same answer, okay? Take any one, brother and sister. So I'm going to decide any one. Let me decide to take this. It doesn't matter. You can take that, you can take this. It's going to give you the same answer. So let me take this. So now remember this is y and this is x. So I'll take this and put it here. So y is going to be 850. For me to get c. Okay. Negative 5 in the bracket. I know the value of x. x is 400. And then plus c. So what I'm going to do here, 850 equal to negative 5 times 400 equal to negative 2000. Plus c. So this is negative. So it has to go over. This is a number, so you gotta go to other number. So 850, when this negative go over to a number, it's gonna become positive. Equal to c. Oh, so 850 plus 2000, 2050. So it's gonna give us 2050. 2850. That's the value of c. Oh, so we gotta see. Okay. So then what happened? I'm gonna have to take this and put it in here and see. In equation two, so I say sub in equation two, sub into equation two here because all I wanted is C for now. 
So from the finally, I'll say, okay. So finally, then finalize with a black pen, you know, or blue pen. Y equal to this one here, negative five x. Okay, plus what is our C? Our C equal to two eight fifty. Okay, and we come to the option, is option two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just option two. So that's how you do. Oh, let's decide it. We finish already. Option two. So somebody could have decided, oh, I want to take this point now. Don't want to tag this one right here. Okay? So let's see this. <laughs> so let's try to do it. So let's not take this. Let's take the one on top. So right here. So here, right? Okay. So now we go, we say, oh, let's do the same game. So the problem is C. So let me take this one here. So if I take these two points, to get C, you must take one of these two coordinates. So Y is going to be 110. So let me just finish up here. So Y is, we're going to put in Y position Y, 1,000, 1, 11,000, equal to negative 5 times X. What is the X? X equals 350. And then plus, plus on CC. So now we go 1100 equal to, um, okay, 5 times 0, 0. 5 times 5, 25. You write 5, you go with 2 because 25. 5 times 3, 15. And the 2 is going to be 17. I will have a negative in the plus C. This is negative. When it comes over, it's going to be positive. So 1100 plus 1750 equal to C. So when you add this, look. 11,000, okay, look, 11,000 plus 17, when you add them, it's going to give you that one, 280, 250, equal to C. So after I get my C, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to shoot right here, because I have my C already. So finally, Y equal to negative 5, X, my C equal to 250. So our option is option 2. Look here, man. So you face time a child, okay? Uh, like I say, you can just click the link below, check out my music, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget to support your boy, you know, watch out my music, follow me. Instagram, it's very easy to create an Instagram just in case you don't have. Follow me, the same name, Toronto Ubuntu, for my, um, uh, for my academic, but for music, is 2525, and then Bag T, the 25 and the Livy. Space and then bacteria. That's all my music. You know what I'm saying? You can click the link below. You see all my music, and you know, don't forget to leave a comment. So, leave it learn from me. You learn from my mistakes. You learn from my methodology. You know how I do things. You feel free. Leave a comment. Say if this video was helpful, let me know, man. Anytime. Don't afraid like, man. I'm afraid of that guy. You know, so you can reach me anytime. So, thanks a lot. You know how much guys are loving, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I hope you enjoy. And you know, you learn from me. Peace and love. So, yeah, that's how it goes. Peace. Peace. I love you guys, man.